Okay guys, so it's time to add a protein skimmer to the new reef tank. So I've had ages to decide which uh, skimmer to go for. Now I've had my fair share of skimmers over the years and of recent with the sump systems, I usually go for Dell Tech. Now with this tank, I wanted to go for something a little bit different. I was looking at the reef octopus skimmers and sort of just really taking my time and delving into sort of the reading the reviews on everything and the reef octopus are, I've got some good reviews but I really do like Tunzi or Tunzi however you pronounce it German company I really do like their stuff and their equipment is really well made uh, well thought out and performs really well so I looked at Tunzi stuff now you automatically associate Tunzi with the nano skimmers they do cracking nano skimmers the 9001 the 9004 that my son's got uh, but you say, first thought to mind is that they do the nano skimmers. You forget that they do do big in some skimmers as well. And this is uh, the part of the range where the entry level one, the 9410, which is sort of like, like I said, the, the entry level to the bigger in some skimmers. I think it's under label under the uh, heading Master DOC, is the range of skimmers. They say this is the entry level one, and they do them right up to huge great monster ones that are sort of two and a half three grand i think with like four dc pumps on them there's lots of benefits to this one and the reasons why i went for it uh, the first obviously you're doing your homework reading up all the reviews now some of the most highly respected guys in the game like reef builders uh, reef to reef and reef central absolutely rave about this skimmer they say it's probably one of the best skimmers they've ever tested and performance and engineering wise is just second to none um, what's really good about it what i like is that although it's quite a small skimmer it performs like a much larger skimmer well that's what all the reviews are saying anyway it's rated up to a thousand liters um, and there's loads of little tick points to say i could go on for 30 40 50 minutes on this but i've only got about eight minutes but basically number one is i love the way it's designed You've got this, as you can see in the video here, you've got this, the, the outlet, you've got a filter sock, which is great if you want to add some carbon, GFO, and the best thing with it is it traps all the bubbles. No, it, you know, there's no bubbles that come out of it into your display. Uh, the other thing I love about it is the fact that the, the, the actual pump that drives it, the DC pump, the needle wheel, design is the pump actually bolts onto the side of the skimmer like like the, the you know the larger skimmers do and uh, what's great about that is you don't have to take the whole skimmer apart to get the pump out to keep it clean now I do like to keep my stuff really clean as you guys probably know if you follow my channel now it's really the really good thing about it is you just spin it it spins onto the side and you just spin it sort of 180 degrees so you can get to the base of the intake dismantle that and just clean it literally inside the sump and then spin it 180 degrees again and you're done as you can see here it's better spin it on but that's a really good point i love uh the the second uh, sorry third thing that i really love is the cup the collection cup uh collection cups are an absolute nightmare on a lot of models to get off uh, they're very really fiddly twisting uh, the lids you know if you've got a real dry foam coming up and it forces the lid sometimes and what i really like about this cup is although it's a really nice large capacity uh on it you can uh the lid on it it locks down it swivels and locks down i'll show you at the end of the video also the neck of the cup is really wide i can actually get my whole hand and arm up through it <coughs> excuse me so when it comes to cleaning like with the kitchen roll up through you can actually get your hand right up one swoop really easy to clean uh, and the fourth thing that i really love about this skimmer is the adjustment of it there is really no adjustment apart from the, the uh, digital controller for the dc pump you put it in the sump as long as you've got it within i think it's 140 mil and 240 mil height it self adjusts itself and it won't overflow so it's got a, a really clever design where if the water level goes too high it flows into the air intake and stops the bubbles so you're never going to have a, an overflow in the skimmer so there's no height adjustment we usually have this little uh, roller needle 
uh, tap where you can adjust the height and you're forever fettling with it to get it to the optimum height. Well, tons of design here, you just set it and forget it, you put it in the tank and it adjusts the height perfectly for you. And if you want to increase the amount of foam, you just simply get hold of the controller and turn the dial up and it increases the, the pump speed and the, the air intake. Uh, I'm currently running it in a tank at very low, I think it's 20% of the lowest uh, pump speed. But again, I'll show you that at the end of the video. Uh, well, this on screen now is, if you didn't want to use the cup, you can use this attachment with a pipe into a larger container. It's quite a clever idea if you're going away on a holiday or whatever. I should probably never use it. Um, so yeah, so it's been running on the, on the tank for a few days now and I'm really, really impressed with this skimmer. Uh, so out of the box onto the tank, uh, it was skimming perfectly and obviously it's going to break in it's going to get even better over the next couple of weeks or so um, but I'll show you now it now on the tank running so this has been running about three or four days and uh, it's amazing it, it's, it didn't have any break-in period really at all well, signs of it anyway it just started puffing up dry lovely skim straight out of the box so it's on its lowest setting here, 20%. So on the dial all the way down is at 20%. And because we don't have much bio load, that's, that's, uh, that'll be fine. The lid just simply comes off like that. Look at that foam. Really dry, dirty dry skim mate. Quite a tight fit in this first chamber. There's the uh, pump on the side of it, bolted on the side. I've currently got the filter sock out. I would tend to run the tank without a filter sock, to be honest. This is going to be so powerful, I think I'll be fine. This is how easy, look, it, the, the cup comes off. It just pulls out. There's no resistance at all, just, just slips out. That's about a day's worth of skim in there. And it just slips back in. It's so easy, look, one hand, I'm holding the camera with the other hand, and the lid goes on really easy, and locks on, so it can't puff off. Awesome, love it. So that's the controller up here, very simple little controller. You've got a feed button, and obviously you've got your adjustment for how much foam you want. Yeah, really chuffed with it. So. I'm going to wrap the video up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up. That really helps me out, guys. And I will show you my new scape and new rock in the next video. So until next time, and catch you later.